we are at Takun and the hair today is very strict, sleek hair, very shiny. We're using Kerasa's products, which is the elixir. Then we're adding little black hairpins. Then we have a wave in the back we finish as a kind of small ponytail. The collection is based on like garden and cage and birds and flowers and butterflies. So we wanted to go to something strict and structure would is related somewhere to the design of the cage. I wanted to dream a little bit this season. You know, I think it's about dream, it's about fantasy, it's about this idea of taking you into another place. And for me, that other place happens to be this idea of beautiful birds in an aviary setting. So it's like a beautiful gilded cage that has flora and fauna and birds everywhere, but it gets sort of like this otherworldly quality that I wanted to inject in the collection. really simple shapes. We are actually looking at 60s kind of uh, simplicity in terms of shape, but then really cutting it up on the bodice, on the back, and mixing different materials in like leather, like print work, and using materials to accentuate points, whether it be like a slight yellow off of a blue and a white dress, you know, just putting emphasis using color. I was at Takun, and I must say, charmed from the very first dress that walked out, the idea of birds and flowers and captured in an aviary cage in that amazing dress. Interesting all the eyelet and the lace that we're seeing throughout the season and also all this combination of fabrics. I even hesitate to call it mixing fabrics. It's really combo fabrics and I think that Takoon did such a brilliant job. White which we're seeing everywhere but back to interesting shades of blue and then punctuated with that bright brilliant acid yellow that I thought gave the collection so much life. But I'm loving all this new very modern take on all the lace and the eyelets that we're seeing this season. And just the idea of the relaxed spirit, you know? We're seeing certainly clothes that are strict and close to the body, but we're also seeing a little bit more of a casual elegance where clothes are moving effortlessly away from the body. And a lot of that happening with the chiffons, the organzas, and the fluidity of the fabrics we're seeing on the runway. The Takoon Show was phenomenal. It was feminine, flirty, but sexy too. I love how he used a lot of what he calls the birdcage, giving an aggressiveness to the very feminine clothes. It's a big trend we've been seeing all week. The very sexy and strong structure in clothes, but with Takoon it was much more feminine and flouncy and girly. So yes, she's going to get her Fifty Shades of Grey on, but she's going to do it in a way that is much more coquettish. With Takoon, there's still a wearability factor that is you know, unbelievable. The clothes are made so well, they feel incredible, and Takoon really is a master also at construction and paying attention to what's happening with technology and, and how he layers pieces.
I think what's interesting about Takoon's clothing is how he juxtaposes shapes and something that's a little bit larger on the bottom, something that's tighter at the waist, a shoulder might come out. The clothes are simple, but they're whimsical and witty and exaggerated in the points that make you want to look at the clothes and you can't stop looking at the clothes. I am a witty person. I like constructing with wit. I like constructing with those kinds of whimsical details. You know, I love when you put on something and, you know, you feel beautiful immediately and then you look at it again and you're like, wow, that was an interesting detail that I didn't even notice before. So double takes on clothes is definitely a plus for me. I think it's a woman that is you know, whimsical, she's feminine, she's witty, she's strong, she's confident, you know, and she's not afraid to wear um, something that's a bit more interesting. <laughs>